Hello, my name is Michael Baldwin at Baldwin Legal Services. I am a personal injury lawyer who specializes in insurance in the state of Michigan. Today I want to briefly explain to you what premises liability means and how it would apply to your case. In order to make someone else liable for injuries you sustain on their premises, they must first owe you a duty. The duty of care that a property owner has toward people injured on his or her property depends on the relationship between the property owner and the injured person. In most situations, the person falls into one of three categories. The first category of people that owe a duty is a business invitee. This person visits the property for a reason that benefits both the visitor and the property owner in a concrete way, so to speak. For instance, grocery store shoppers are business invitees because they benefit from getting groceries and the property owner benefits from having the shoppers spend their money at the store. Likewise, a contractor hired to do repairs on the property is an invitee. A transfer of money is not required to make a visitor into an invitee, but it is, a, it is common in invitee situations. The next category of people that owe you a duty is a licensee. This is a person whom the property owner permits on the property, but who is not trading benefits with the property owner. A perfect example of an invitee would be a house guest. The next category of people would be a trespasser. A trespasser is a visitor who comes onto the property without permission of the property owner. A property owner owes a different duty of care to each of these categories of visitor as follows. When we talk about an invitees, the property owner must protect invitees from any dangerous condition that the owner knows, knows or should know about. Property owners must inspect property and must either fix any dangerous conditions they find or warn invitees about them. The yellow caution wet floor signs that appear in many public places are one example of a property owner's warning invitees about a dangerous condition, in this case, a slippery floor. Licensees, a property owner must protect his licensee from dangers he knows about by warning them. He is not, however, required to inspect the premises or to fix dangerous conditions as soon as he finds them. Trespassers. A property owner must not create dangerous conditions on his or her property or make them worse in order to catch a trespasser. However, a property owner is not required to fix dangerous conditions or warn trespassers about them. Premises liability only applies to dangerous conditions on the property. For an example, icy sidewalk, rotted steps, or spilled food on a grocery store floor are all dangerous conditions that fall under premises liability law. Typically, the dangerous condition must be a result of a human creation, which we can define as an unnatural condition as opposed to a natural condition. When facing a premises liability suit, the property owner may rely on one or more affirmative defenses to explain why he or she should not be liable for the plaintiff's injury. A commonly used defense in premises liability cases is the defense of assumed risk. In an assumption of risk situation, the injured person was reasonably aware of the risk that he or she was, would be taking in a particular way, but went ahead and acted anyway. In Michigan, we define the assumption of risk as, an, as the open and obvious dangerous doctrine defense. There are some exceptions to the defense, but typically cases are dismissed against the plaintiff under this defense. An example would be slipping and falling beside an owner's pool while you are swimming at their home. What can you do if you have been injured or someone else's, on someone else's property? You can contact me right away to discuss the facts of your case and go over your insurance coverage benefit questions so that you understand what insurance coverage you may be afforded.